Hello, my name is Andy Mogglestew. I'm the Chief Editor of Avery Review. Today I would like to present to you three selected articles from the latest edition. The first of these articles looks at warehouses. Now warehouses are a very important part of our supply chain logistics. Unfortunately, only about 6% of total warehouses actually use robotics. The reason is that warehouses are extremely complex places. They're often not clearly structured. Often the processes that go on there are very diverse and there are people on the floor and all of these are barriers to, to using robotics, especially affordable robotics. AUB has acquired a company called Seven Sense Robotics and they have a product that allows us to navigate the floor, to scan, to be aware of going on. A second story I would like to discuss with you is also related to uh, moving things around inside factories. Conveyor belts have been part of factories since the early days of, of, uh, of manufacturing. One of the drawbacks of a standard conveyor belt is that every item on a conveyor belt moves a certain distance and then it stops. So every manufacturing step has to be more or less of the same duration and require the same sort of space. This is all, not always possible in, uh, in an actual real world manufacturing setup. Furthermore, the requirements of manufacturing have moved on since the day of Henry Ford. Uh, customers require so much variability. We need production lines that can branch, that can come together, that can move at different speeds. And this is where Acapulco Strack comes in. There are little shuttles that move along, each at their own speed, and that can branch off and go into different parts of the factory and come back together. The third topic I'd like to talk about is connected to cybersecurity. These days, everything is in the cloud. And of course, it's wonderful to have it in the cloud. It's a good place uh, to process that data, to use computer power. But the downside is it's also vulnerable. People could hack into our processes. On the one hand, they could steal data. On the other hand, they could even disrupt and maybe hold manufacturers to ransom or disrupt processes. Now, what can you do to control that? We have a system called eBPF, which basically looks at packages, it looks at traffic on the internet or, or on the network inside a company. And if you notice, for example, there is a new processor starting up that's traffic heavy, or maybe a file has been modified, or maybe there is data that they shouldn't be, all these things are anomalies that can be automatically detected and flagged up. It's, it's basically comparing how you expect the traffic to work to how it actually works. If customers know their data is secure, it, it improves uh, their trust in the system and it means that it, it removes one of the barriers to AI, to the adoption of AI. And it also assures that uh, production, that manufacturing is safer, is continuous, that we have fewer intrusions and fewer disruptions of our supply chains. Those are just three of the many articles you can read in AUB Review. I hope I got you excited to read these articles and others. AUB Review can be downloaded from ahubcom slash AUB Review or on the link below this article. Enjoy your reading.